The following video presentation provides detailed instructions for installing the 2100-696 Frosher Zero Speed Dual Gating Transducer. The tools required include a torque wrench, an 11 16 socket, a 7 8 socket, a 1 and a half inch socket, external retaining ring pliers, and a 6 mm hex key wrench. Gating transducers generate critical timing signals that allow the smart scan NG squared detector to coordinate bearing and wheel temperature measurements. These timing signals are also used to determine a train's direction, exit speed, length, as well as identify individual rail cars and locomotives based on axle spacing patterns. The 2196 assembly is rail mounted in the crib adjacent to the bearing scanner in the direction that the scanner is aimed. Begin installation by preparing the crib. Remove the ballast as necessary to provide at least 3 inches of clearance to the bottom of the transducer bracket. Locate and remove the large retaining ring and track clamp nut from the assembly. Slide off the remaining clamp hardware and shipping spacer. Mount the dual gating transducer assembly in the center of the crib on the gauge side of the rail. Once in position, tighten the track clamp nut to a torque of 35 foot-pounds. Install the lock clip and retaining ring. The SmartScan NG Square controller automatically calculates the virtual timing gate for each scanner based on rail size, scanner type, scanner orientation relative to TO1 and TO2 sensors, and scanner offset, which is measured from the center of the scanner rail clamp to the center of the dual gating transducer bracket. Record the offset to the nearest inch. Each of these parameters should be recorded during the transducer installation. These settings will be required to complete the equipment setup process. Next, adjust the height of the Frosher sensors using the weighted string method. The vertical measurement from the top of the sensor to the crown of the rail should be 40 to 45 millimeters. The upper limit of sensor height can also be checked using the 2066-000 alignment fixture. Loosen the two nuts on the front plate to make vertical adjustments. Tighten to 20 foot-pounds to secure. When viewed from above, the inside edge of the Frosher sensor should extend from 0 to 6 millimeters underneath the head of the rail. To make horizontal adjustments, loosen the two nuts securing the horizontal adjustment clamp. Tighten to 20 foot-pounds to secure. Plug in each transducer cable. The narrow tapered edge of the connector should face the top. The connector should be flush with the sensor body when fully seated. Install the cable plug clamp using a 6 millimeter hex key. The track installation is complete. The transducer cables can now be routed to the equipment enclosure for termination to the detector system. For more information, contact Southern Technologies Corporation at 423-892-3029 or visit us on the web at www.southern-tech.com.